Hey, good morning, everyone. Happy Saturday. Rob here for Southwest Florida Television. Beautiful out here. The water is calming down now, which means it's going to be clearing up. A lot of clouds or haze out on the horizon. The moon is just going behind it there. You can just barely see it. See it over there on the left, that pelican went through. Let's see if I can zoom in on it. So, it was a beautiful golden color this morning. Look at that. Full moon, gorgeous. Gorgeous out here this morning. It was beautiful when I was walking to the beach. I'm glad we got a peek at it. So I'm starting early here. Just looks like an orange hanging in the sky there. Beautiful. We're only going to be doing live feeds on Facebook this morning. No YouTube live feeds. So I'll be live here for a little while. It's not going to be a quick little sound check. So hit that share button. If you're liking what you're seeing. And of course, if you're not liking what you're seeing, go back to bed. <laughs> How could you not like what you're seeing? It's gorgeous out here. Probably get a nice little pink band of color out there on the horizon. Maybe we'll see some new sea turtle nests today. That would be cool. They should be finishing this end of the berm up today, I would hope. Then next week, they're going to be running back and forth on to the north on Vanderbilt Beach. So the trucks will be back and forth on Vanderbilt Beach next week, I think is what I heard Monday. So you're going to have to deal with walking over those ruts and everything when you come out here. They decided they're going to put more sand up at the north end in a couple places. They were short. Sounds strange, I know. A foot more of sand in some spots. That was an osprey that just flew over me. I don't know if you caught that. Yeah, the moon has gone down behind the clouds. I'm glad we got a peek at it. Well, no, you can still... Actually, you can see it better in the camera. It's a little brighter in the camera than to the naked eye right now. Facebook, the screen just does not work well when I hit the, try to zoom in, the pinch thing while I'm live on Facebook. It takes a, several pinches. beautiful. Almost looks pink now with the clouds. Good morning, Diane. Happy Saturday. So it's like 70 degrees right now. 
little warmer than yesterday morning. The water temperature is 80. No red tide, hallelujah. The tide's still going out. We'll be going out for another hour or so. And our next high tide's going to be around 1 o'clock. So it should be pretty good walking on the beach here this morning. Oof, I was pooped this morning. I really had to push myself to come out here this morning. I love my beach, but it seems like now my beach walks are going eight miles. They used to go five miles. I used to walk about five miles, then six, then seven. Now they're getting up to eight. Yesterday was 8.7 miles. 20,000 steps. A lot of walking. But I think it's worth it. I enjoy coming out here and sharing my mornings with you. Carol, good morning. Nice to see you on here, by the way. Very nice to have you on here with us. Our walks are going to be starting a little earlier now each morning just because, I mean, not like super earlier. But just a couple minutes earlier each week as the sun comes up a little earlier. Sunsets are getting really late. We will not have a sunset now before 8 p.m. until August. Well, here's where the berm ends currently. right by the Ritz Carlton. Did you see the picture I took when I was heading out here this morning? The moon just sinking down, getting ready to sink down behind the Ritz Carlton. Oh, got a gorgeous cloud over top of me. A gorgeous cloud over top of me. I got to snap off a photo of it before the colors fade out. So pardon the interruption here. I will be right back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. But this cloud is gorgeous. And I know you'll enjoy the picture later. This thing is so big, I can't even get it with the wide angle. I went straight up over my head and got a picture of the cloud. It was so big. It's beautiful. I love about it. these colors they just come and go so quickly in the morning got a little color over here behind the Ritz hit that share button come on my friends and it's already fading out there was a nice orange cloud over here. Just lit up and it's already starting to fade out. Come and they go, just like that. Poof, 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 poof. This one's already losing its color, just like that. Got two pictures of it. <laughs> Ha! 
So yesterday, what we had 13 sea turtle nests on the beach. Hopefully we'll have some new ones today. We saw quite a few false crawls yesterday. I think we saw just, how about the north end? Well, between the north end, we saw one down here in Pelican Bay. Then we saw three, at least three up the north end. So we saw at least four. Who knows what's going on way down to the south. That is where the sea turtles really like to come in because there's nothing down there in that mile-long stretch, that preserve area down there that we walked to, uh, what was that, Wednesday or so, unfortunately, the connection stunk. quiet out there on Facebook. I thought we had some early risers in our beach family. That doesn't look like it. Looks like we got a bunch of sleepy heads. Oh, sleepy heads. Come on. Another photo. Pardon the interruptions. You know me. You know me and my clouds. Just can't get enough of them. Unfortunately, the really nice ones just directly overhead of me. It's impossible to get a really cool picture. I got a couple of shots to share later. Where's those dolphins? Right now would be a perfect time for a dolphin to come swimming by. Water is a bit shallow though here. I am seeing some red drift algae still out here in the water, darn it. Just little patches of it, little clumps of it here and there. It is starting to disappear on the beach slowly but surely starting to rot away here but we still see that line of it that ugly line yeah some beaches have seaweed on them all the time that's just what the beach always looks like we get spoiled here i can't go down here too far usually the furthest it's just down past these condos in Bay Colony. If you're coming out here to the beach, if you go to the Bluebell Beach Access up on Bluebell Avenue at the north end of Vanderbilt Beach, those Permanent restroom facilities are finally, they've finally been reopened. So you got a nice bathroom now. The one portable was kind of nice, that one on the trailer, that was nice. But now the bathrooms have been fixed, repaired, and opened. I know a lot of you were concerned about that. Going to the beach and having some nice facilities. I don't know if they're going to rebuild the bathrooms here in Vanderbilt that got destroyed. There was two restroom facilities and the one closest to the water just disappeared, literally disappeared, got washed away in Hurricane Ian. But they do have the one for back dry land working. 
I think you're gonna need to get early to in here. It's gonna be nice, very nice. So I think that parking garage is gonna fill up early. Call that my little morning sandwich of color out there. <laughs> I was hoping to see a little more pink in there. So I'll probably do three live feeds here on Facebook this morning. The first one is going to be a little short. This one. Little snowy egret, whoop, taking flight. You're just tuning in, water's calming down a lot. If we had two days of the water like this, it should be looking awesome. You should be clearing up, seeing some beautiful colors. No red tide to worry about. We were so lucky. But that big storm we had last Sunday. A lot of people were almost betting that we were going to see some red tide. Thought it was going to blow on shore with those high west easterly winds coming in offshore. Would that be an easterly wind? It's, it's blowing to the east. It's an onshore wind. Looking for turtle tracks as I'm walking along here. Looking for a turtle crawl up onto the berm. I saw that one down here yesterday, number 13. I think that's where we were at yesterday. I didn't see any more past it. This is number 13 right over here. It was right along here somewhere. We hung out waiting for him to finish up marking it. He's a little further down. I might have walked past it already. I don't know. Uh, if I come by it, I'll show it to you if I walk by it again. Kind of, well, I'll talk about that when we come across the nest. Or sea turtles. I've got my own little personal theory. By any means, I'm no expert, you know. It's just my thoughts when I share things about marine life and berm construction. Hey, thanks for the stars this morning. I appreciate that. If walks here. I do. Stars are greatly appreciated on Facebook. I get a penny star that you send. So there I got 200 stars from one of our beach friends. So that's two bucks. You know, I spend pretty much four hours out here on the beach in the morning. I'm not live for four hours, but that's kind of what I put into it in the mornings. That's just here at the beach. So think about that. When you're sending them stars. And uploading photos and posting on YouTube. I usually don't get done until around 2, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. But it's fun. Keeps me out of trouble. Wish I could make a little more money. Things just getting so nutty expensive in the world these days.
so darn expensive. You know what I mean, Eugene? Where the heck the past is? I, it was up by, I didn't think it was past these condos. It was right up on the edge of the burn. That burn really sticks up here. Just up the beach a little ways from me. It's not that noticeable here. It's way up. Just the shoreline's very, very low. Oh, I remember where it was now. Hey, see, hey, hey, here it is. This was yesterday's. Oh, look at that sun coming through there. That is gorgeous. Hang on one second. Oh, sorry about that. I went to take a picture and then reconnected. Dang it. This, this camera just does not respond well on Facebook. Anyway, this nest here, I want to get closer to it. This nest, this is number 13. This is right up on the edge of the sand berm. When I come back here, you'll see what I'm talking about. See that, it's right up on the edge. That is not good, because if we get storms like we had on Sunday, not hurricanes or tropical storms, just our big storms with the extra high tides and the extra waves and the wind coming out of the west, that water is going to be lapping up here and eroding the edge of this berm. And those eggs are only a few feet back from the edge of that berm, so that's not a good place for the sea turtle. Now. Here's my thought about this. This is just my thought. I'm thinking the sea turtles are getting confused because the berm, the, the dunes used to be way back in there, up high, you know? And I think that when they come up this big embankment, they think they're on the old sand dune and they're laying their eggs up there thinking they're way back further on the beach than they are. So I think they're getting a little confused, but just, again, that's just my theory. So, think about it. Does it make sense to you? I'm trying to get a really cool picture of this nest. I am so sorry for the interruptions here. Just bear with me. Okay, I finally got it. You'll say, oh, wow, that's a beautiful picture when you see it later. Great picture of a sea turtle nest with the beautiful orange glow behind it. Anyway, so that was my thoughts. This berm and our sea turtles. I think they might be a little confused coming up it. But like I said, that's on the way. share my some of my see what they each friends that hang out see something here anything even sea monster would be cool
boy, it is quiet down here so far this morning. Very, very quiet. Loving it. Marcus, our turtle guy, is already down there somewhere doing his survey of the beach. Ground morning. I think he has a trainee with him. There's a young lady from yesterday that was doing some digging. Process down a little bit. He's really good. Finds what he thinks is a good nest, a good crawl. He is good at figuring out where those I am very curious as to what's going to happen when these trucks Next week start going back up to the these big dump trucks go up to the north end of the beach because there's some spots where the berm is really close they don't have a lot of beach they're gonna have to drive over that new berm mess it all up might have to berm repair Come on, I was hoping to see a new new crawl here, a fresh crawl. I'm getting into that spot where the signal isn't that good from T-Mobile. is bright that sky is clear holy moly guacamole holy guacamole well speaking of guacamole last night oh, another one of the reasons I didn't feel like coming out to the beach we um my wife had a coupon that she got for some I don't know where she got it for some subs at Publix man they're subs if you haven't had a Publix sub they are legendary. That's what people talk about, public subs here. Get that boar's head meat, but they ain't cheap. But she had, I think, a BOGO coupon, which was awesome. My wife is the queen of BOGO. Anyway, I got this awesome Italian sub, and I overdid it on the hot peppers, I think. They were playing a little tune in my tummy this morning when I got up. <laughs> I bet you thought I was going to say something like I went out partying or something for Cinco de Mayo. Nope. Just put it on sub from Publix. Just go down to the beach to where my signal starts dropping out. Then I'm going to end the live feed and start a new one. I'll start number two and we'll make our walk up the beach, take our walk up the beach. Like I said, three live feeds on Facebook this morning. So I hope you hang out with me. Unless you got, obviously, more important things to do. Which I couldn't imagine anything being more important than hanging out with me at the beach. But
Oh man, I don't know what the deal is. These contractors here, I guess I just got so much work to do. I've been on them now forever and ever. It's like I want to get moved into my beach house here, but it's taken them forever to build. It's taken forever for them to finish our new beach house. This is where we're going to have our beach family parties right here. It's taken forever to finish. What, can I, what are we going to do? <laughs> Wouldn't that be nice? Wouldn't that be nice, huh? What's scary is all these big, beautiful homes. They hardly ever get used. You go down Gordon Drive. Down an old port. Oh. Is beyond me. I mean, they have a dining room the size of my house. You know, with, they can seat 30 at the table. What on earth? What? And they're never around. Just a big giant tax right off for them, I guess. The rich get richer, and the poor get poorer. Thank you for the stars. Mr. Starman. Mr. Starman Steve, God bless you, thank you. Hey, whoa, we got a good crawl here. We got a good crawl. I don't know if this is an old one or a new one. I gotta see if there's tire tracks through it. This looks like a new one. These are the return tracks that I'm following up here. But holy moly, this girl did the right thing. She came way up onto the berm, up into the backside. This is an old one. This is from yesterday, and it was a false crawl. Darn it. Whenever you see the going that's Marcus's way of just marking it for himself so he doesn't get confused and keep rechecking sometimes they all start looking the same but look how high that nest would have been all the way up here on the back side of the berm that is that was a really good crawl yesterday happy to see that hopefully that shoots my theory down about them stopping up at the other end. That, I'm in that area now where the connection's very spotty. I wanted to show you something there. Let me see if we can see the tracks first. These are the tracks coming out of the water. It's kind of hard to see the lighting. It's not the best down here. Let's see if I come on the other side. I'll show you why I know these are the tracks coming out of the water. So if you look at it closely, you can see how the sand is pushed back as she pushes her way up along the beach. That's how you tell which is the coming on and which is the going off the beach. But back here, there is a big valley down in here. So when this water, trust me, the water is going to crest over this berm in, during a storm. It's inevitable. It happens all the time. So that's going to just fill up. That's going to be a little lake back there. The water is going to get trapped as the tide goes out. So that's going to be a soggy spot. Isn't that gorgeous? That sun just peeking out over the trees at us. Just can't resist taking little photos here and there of everything. Views like that. Just love Mother Nature. I love her. And I respect her. She's powerful. Mother Nature. She could just scrub us right off this plane in the blink of an eye if she wanted to.
just love getting this part of the beach. You just get down here and it's gets quieter and quieter. I mean, there are some hardcore beach walkers and runners, joggers that make it that actually run down the clam pass. Oof. I have a hard enough time walking. Anyway, I gotta turn around. Start heading up the beach and we'll see if we got any turtle action up there. Maybe I'll be able to catch Marcus and find out if there was any action down to the south here. And I thought I saw something up here, but I must discipline myself and turn around and start walking north. But I do think I'm going to take a little break while I'm down here. Give you a chance to grab a cup, another cup of coffee, maybe a bite to eat, walk the dog, do whatever. Check your local news real quick. I shall return. Thank you. I see I got 300 stars. That's three dollars. So thank you for that. Remember, tips are greatly appreciated. Always welcome. It's too big or too small. <laughs> you can find a link to my PayPal account in the description of this post if you'd like to send a little thank you, a token of appreciation. Thank you for the stars again. It's got another hundred stars. Like I said, every dollar counts. Hopefully I'll see you later, but until next time, stay safe, stay healthy, and stay strong. Tally-ho, my wonderful beach friends. Tally-ho. For Southwest Florida Television, I'm Rob Stan. God bless.